Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Welcome to PAX East 2024. We are Game Sun Quick. Thank you for joining us for some awesome speed running action. I have a couple announcements before we get started. Summer Games Done Quick will be live from Minneapolis, Minnesota, June 30th through July 6th. Run submissions are now open and will close March 24th. If you'd like to submit a run, go to gamesdonequick.com slash profile or visit gamesdonequick.com for more information about the event. Now, to kick off our schedule, which is super duper awesome, full of fun, for the whole weekend, we have an any percent run of Mirror's Edge by Black Belt Ginja Ganinja. All right, let's take it away. Hey, look, we're on screen. Hey, thanks, everyone. I'm Black Belt Ginja Ninja, or BBGN. Uh, for today, you can just, we'll be on a first, day, first name basis. You can call me Nick. And we're on a first name basis because I'm joined on commentary by my dad. Say hi. Hi. This is George. He's my dad. There are no Mirror's Edge runners local to Boston that were here, but I've got someone better. Uh, and I'll, also, I've got him all set up. Uh, because there's no Mirror's Edge runners, I've got some intro cue cards for him as he's going to explain some tricky stuff as I go through the run. This is going to be an any percent run. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I think I can actually cue you in with our first card if you're ready, Dad. Let's go. All right. So he's t he wants me to read this, and I'm not going to. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I will read it. Uh, hello. My name is George. Just for the record, I'm reading right off of here. I wrote that. My handsome son, Nick, will be playing Mirror's Edge any percent. I wrote Meaning you'll be seeing lots of glitches and crazy swag out of bounds skip. Swag. We'll be on easy difficulty. It seems a little, you know, you know, I wouldn't be on easy, but life isn't on easy. But that's okay. He is. Okay. Which makes all the enemy's damage less. Is everybody ready? I have to take a second. <laughs> Timing starts in three, two, one, go! Okay, first skip right. of the game. I'm going to skip training. <laughs> Saves a whole bunch of time. We're going to start off with uh, a few sidesteps and some good movement. You want to explain the sidestep for me, Dad? I would love to write this Describe it. In Mirror's Edge, there's an in-game sidestep mechanic where face swings their hands across the screen, which allows us to dodge sideways. The sidestep also gets the players to full speed instantaneously. So by turning the camera during a sidestep, Nick can turn on a dime and, more importantly, get the full speed instantly. Wow. So graceful. Yeah, thank you. I'm pretty graceful. You're going to see sidesteps all over the place. They are a key movement tech. The other key movement tech is the kick glitch. You'll see one right here. Why don't you explain the kick glitch, Dad? The kick glitch. And I do see this a lot. For the record, I've probably watched 20 hours of this thing, and all I ever see him is kicking the whole time. It's a little annoying, but it's okay. I know he's doing it for speed. All right, the kick glitch. At the end of the wall run, kick animation. The player is put into a grounded state for exactly one frame. If you hit the jump during that one frame, you can get a glitchy jump at the end of the kick, hence the name Kick Glitch. Luckily, we can bind jump to scroll wheel to consistently hit that one frame window and use the Kick Glitch to fly across the map. Yep, like this. One Kick Glitch, two Kick Glitch. You can even chain them together. Basically, in this game, you'll almost infinitely gain speed until you touch the ground again. So we're going to use the Kick Glitch and other glitches just to keep gaining speed, fly across the map. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. This game is divided into 10 chapters. This is the first of 10. Um, it's actually called Prologue, and then the rest are numbers 1 through 9. Uh, each chapter is a few minutes, so full run should take about 40. Uh, but that's about it. i got to go a little slow here so that the, this helicopter loads in and we can end the level. We're off to a good start. Good job reading. That was great. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's a skill I've uh, you know, developed since third grade. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of third grade, no, my wife is not on. She's a third grade teacher. So to all the teachers, if any teachers are watching, which they can't be because you're teaching, we appreciate you. <laughs> but the, she doesn't have me on the live stream, you think, for the kiddos? That would be awesome, but no. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay, well, coming up here, starting chapter one, there's one more glitch that I don't think is on your paper. I'm happy to explain it. It's called the use glitch. Yeah, I don't have that. Basically, I have jump bound to one scroll direction. I have the use key, which is used to hit elevator buttons, bound to the other. Hitting the use uh, elevator is a little bit slow, but I can override that by scrolling during another animation. 
So by doing a little scroll on the use button while I'm punching there, I can hit the button without actually hitting the button. Yeah, so that's key is, is he's actually punching the elevator. And we were talking earlier, I actually do that live. I walk up the elevator and I punch them. And I really, I, I do not recommend them. doing that because that well, would really hurt your hand. But. Well, you don't punch them hard. Okay, that's smart, actually. Okay. There's some guards there, but we can run right by. Yeah, I, n- I notice we always ignore the guards. That seems to be the general thesis of this game is we just run by them. Yeah, the game has a whole bunch of combat mechanics, but you can kind of just... Uh, Avoid all of it in yeah. speed run. First out of bounds, Skip. I'm going to try to get uh, a little bit in bounds here. The level behind me just deloaded. Let me jump back up here. And then with a few kick glitches, I can get out of bounds again because the level's deloaded. And with a kick glitch and a wall boost on an invisible oh. wall, yeah. we can then slide. hit an invisible slide. Why don't you explain the wall boost real quick, actually? You're going to see a whole bunch of wall boosts coming up. Do I have wall boost? Do you have wall boost? You might not. I don't have wall boost. I'll I don't even have to it. slide. I mentioned I have jump bounce to uh, scroll down. And the cool thing about wall running in this game is that it actually gets you more speed than you would just by running or even jumping. So I'll often uh, use the scroll wheel to jump quickly on and off a wall, like this, for example, and then again. And that'll help me gain speed. For rec- for the record, you run at about 26 kilometers per hour, you wall boost at about 45. And when possible, I'm also going to be like adding in little jumps because you jump at 30. So little speed increases here and there just to save bits of time. And every second counts. Every second counts, exactly. Here's a sliding wall climb. The cool thing about wall climbs is that you can, much like you can sidestep on the ground, you can sidestep out of a wall climb. You do that with horizontal momentum, bada bing, bada boom. You are both wall climbing, and gaining height, and gaining speed. I've got to be honest with you, I'm hoping for a world record here. Uh, we're not going to get world record here, but, you no, know, that I seems think like this a, week, so we'll see. Okay, that not. seems like a negative attitude for, you know, on a speed run in front of everybody. I'm thinking we should go for it. I'm out of bounds here. You want to explain pedestrian skip for me? I do want to do. I want. I, I actually can. So pedestrian skip. When you enter an elevator, the player is put on a special player slate where they are not allowed to jump. However, in the kick glitch, we are allowed to jump for one frame when the elevator state state ends. Nick will use this jump out of bounds. From here, they'll run on an invisible wall and navigate a huge invisible death barrier to kick glitch into a later part of the map in, say, 15 to 20 seconds. Pretty simple, right? I've seen him do this. For the okay. record, I just saw him use five minutes ago. I hit the invisible wall, uh, the invisible death barrier twice. There's so much oh. invisible collision around here. We're going to go for it one more time. Let's yeah, see no. if we can get this I, time. I saw you actually do it last Two, time. Three. And there we go. That's Perfect. It. All right, we got some clap, and thank you. <laughs> I, mean, I really didn't do anything, but I am the coach, and we talked earlier. So as the coach of this run, I'm uh-huh. getting 30% credit. We negotiated that. I'm not happy with how the negotiation went. Well, because the negotiation went, I'm the coach, I should get 50%. He said 30, and I was like, I'll take it because, let's be honest with you. So I'm back in bounds. I just hit a checkpoint in the bottom left corner. Sorry to cut you off. That's okay. Things to say. I understand. And that checkpoint is great because it means I can quit and reload. And even though the level wasn't loaded, it's loaded now. We're going to use those checkpoints. Those checkpoints are persistent. Like when the game starts, all the checkpoints are active throughout the level. So we can, if we can get out of bounds and hit a checkpoint early, we can use the quit and reload to get really far, skip huge parts of the game. So we're going to do that as often as possible. Speaking of which, we're we're ending chapter one. We're moving on to chapter two. And there's a glitch right at the beginning of chapter two, a pretty tough one. Not even sure I'll get it, but we're going to go for it. All right. Taco Noli, which I have another flashcard for you on Taco Noli. Oh, all right. Taco Noli. Oh, I do have it. All right. Here we go. Nick will first use a simple wall run, wall climb turn to get out of bounds. Wait, wait a second. I'll, I'll, I'll point that out. It's coming right. up. Yep. I'm going to wait for it. And, okay, here it is. Go ahead. Okay, from there, he'll need to do two glitchy wall boosts on the same wall and chain that to a blind kick on an out of bounds wall and chain that into one last kick glitch on an invisible wall. I noticed this, like, out of bounds. Okay. If all goes well, which it definitely will, we'll hit a checkpoint midair and save almost a minute. Oh. Which I, I read it. But so close. We got everything except the last kick. So okay. that means that I was going to fall into an out of bounds void, which means that the game will never kill me, so I just have to quit and reload. Are we doing it again? Yeah. What do you think? Again? I think we go for it again. So I can read it again. again. I'm going to read the whole thing again because we're going to make it work this time. I don't know right, that we need go. to read it. We're going to go for it one more time. If all we right. don't get it, it's not a big deal to do the backup. Okay. So supposedly if all goes well, which it definitely will, is what I wrote. But yep. luckily I never got to reading that because it didn't. Yep. And then we'll hit a checkpoint midair and save almost a minute. So let's let's do that. Okay. One more time, folks. Right, one here more we time. go. Here we go. So out of bounds. Okay. Okay. We're still doing some invisible stuff. I one, don't know. One, two... Okay, do this better this time. Let's see if we hit the checkpoint. Let's go. Boom! Huh? 
Whew. See, that's why I knew we should do it the second time. I can yeah. tell this one. No, we might not be doing it. Uh, what, so just so everybody knows, we agreed that if we don't get it in the first time, we're not going to go through it like three or four. Right. But we were only going to attempt it once. But I, I felt I felt confident. I, I felt confident. I now. appreciate that confidence. Well, I learned that trick last week. So that's big. That's big. But to it's a huge break. skip. And yeah. great. Well, a minute's worth it, right? Because if we do it yeah. twice, we still, you know, as long as we hit it. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, no, I died. Okay, that wasn't planned. I'm just kidding. That was on purpose. Oh. <laughs> That death sets up a skip here. Um, I'm gonna let it speak for itself, actually. Watch this. Oh, I remember this one. Ooh. Well, we got most of it up there. Oh, that but wasn't okay. that wasn't planned? N that one wasn't. Oh, got it. But, got but it. it's fine because you spawn right here again, so let's just try one more time. Sick. So that is called a fling, because, um, well, yeah, you fling. I'm gonna explain how that works uh, in this next section because there's another fling coming up that I wanna show you. So basically, Every time you wall run, the game calculates your wall run height based on your last jump location, right? It tries to determine how high the wall run's gonna go. But if you die, your last jump location is reset. It's actually reset to the in-game coordinate of Z equals zero, which most of the time isn't that important, but when you're underground like this, which I am, this is one of the few sections of the game that's underground, it means Z equals zero is way up there. It throws off the wall run calculation, and if by interrupting the wall run during certain animations, I can get flung way high and chain that with a kick glitch, bada bing, bada boom. You get sent way up, and you save like 45 seconds probably on that fling. Absolutely crazy. Oops, let me just get off this elevator. There's some invisible collision here I'm gonna jump on. Let's me jump on some more invisible collision. And here's another death to set up a fling. Oh. This fling's a little bit weird. That last fling was on a springboard. This is the other place you can do flings on these little uh, swing poles here. Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna use slow motion for this fling because it's really hard. And you can actually see it happen in slow motion. Super cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. I gotta admit that one was pretty cool. Thank you. That saves a nice little auto scroller. So there's a little auto scroller section there that we skipped. So that is most of chapter two now. Um, coming out to chapter two, there's a chase section at the end. But by going out of bounds, I can actually kind of skip a lot of the uh, the chasing you're supposed to be doing. Let me jump back inbounds. Ah, never mind. Just to give you a heads up, we're at nine minutes and 50 seconds. How are we, how we doing? We're, we're on great pace. Don't even right. sweat it. Uh, well, I wasn't sweating it, to be honest with you, because I really just have to, you know, jabber. This is Jackknife. Uh, we're supposed to chase him. We go a little bit faster than he's intended, so you might see him cheat a little bit and teleport. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> we're going to ditch him, and we're going to go for a, a kick glitch chain called Chase Chain. I mentioned you can chain kick glitches together, and the advantage of doing that is you can go pretty far pretty fast. Let's see how this goes. Nope, did not hit it. That is okay. We'll go back the original way. This chase is cool anyway. I wanted to show this. We seem to be catching up to him. Yep. Not so like that, though. Well, I mean, we had to give him a little lead because he knew we were going to get him. Well, the good news is that I can go for chase chain again. Okay. All right. So we're going for it again? Oh, yeah. You know it. All right. You got to have Appreciate no fear that. with these skips. No, I, no I'm, I'm with you. So if all goes well, I'll actually get a wall run on this wall down here. You have to manipulate your height really precisely, which makes it kind of hard. Okay. 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 It's looking good. Can I get this ledge grab? Oh, let's go. There we go. Oh. Boom. That is a pretty hard skip. Mirrors that kind of has tiers of skips. That's one of those skips we recommend beginners do not go for. Uh, usually only like the top 10, 25 runners go for that, but saves a whole lot of time. Saves like 10 seconds if you get it. I'm gonna quit and reload here, otherwise the game will fade out. Get it right, right. Here's the cool thing about the use glitch as well. I have a free scroll mouse. By free scrolling, use glitching this, it actually makes the elevator go up faster. Certain animations in this game are tied to how fast you scroll on them, which is kind of funny. So by really spamming scroll wheel, I can save some time in some places. Free scroll mice are sweet. A lot of speedrunners use this G502, and there's a reason why. I thought they used a hero, actually. The G502 hero is another very popular model. We were chatting about that. It's fine. Ignore that. I went for a sliding wall climb on this wall, but accidentally got a wall run. But that's fine. This is what it's supposed to look like. So now we're going to do a skip. Uh, there's actually four checkpoints in Chapter 3. 3A, 3C, uh, 3B, and 3D. I have 3A and 3C. And we are doing, you'll never believe this, 3A to 3C skip. You'll never guess what that does. Why don't you explain that, Dad? I can actually tell you what it does. 
Nick will first climb out of bounds by chaining together some wall climbs and side steps on the orange awnings. Where are the orange awnings? They're coming up. They're okay. way up there. You can kind of see them in the I'm gonna, distance. I'm going to wait to the orange awnings. Okay, we're, co we're coming. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'll go yeah, as fast yeah. as I can. No, yeah, that's that's the whole theme of this whole day. That's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, sorry, okay. I forgot. Uh, that's okay. So once we get to the orange awnings, we're here. from there, he'll chain together a kick glitch, wall boost, and then another kick glitch and wall boost to fly into a checkpoint floating in midair. Yeah, duh. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. I mean, first I got a. I didn't even need to read here. that. I actually knew that one. And now here's the kick glitch. So I'm gonna use slow motion again because this strat's like low key kind of hard. And then kick on this wall, and then one wall boost on this wall, and you'll see the checkpoint. Let's go. There it is. Okay. So let's give for the checkpoint record three. I didn't actually see the checkpoint, but okay. I believe you. Well, you gotta you look a little harder. Okay. No, well, that's that's true too. I do have glasses, so yeah. you know. So 3C is a bit of a noob killer. There's no checkpoints anywhere in this. There's like no like soft checkpoints in between if you die. So I just simply won't do that is the okay. plan. Quick question. You said at one point you were wall sliding versus wall climbing. Yeah, I mean, uh, the what wall boost is just wall running on and off the wall. Yeah. And so I just did a little wall boost there actually. What's uh, a wall slide? One of these, sliding wall climb. A sliding wall climb is a wall climb with horizontal momentum. So it gets me a little more height than just simply jumping on got and off it, the wall. Got it. That was that was not in the script. I was just I was actually curious about that. Great question. One. Well, no. you know, I do pay attention. A little tiny time save. You'll see me do this all over the run. Is I jump kick doors. Yes. If I jump kick them, I can start a side step really quick once I land, and then I can get back to full speed quickly. Yeah, so. I wouldn't recommend you jump kick regular doors. So I don't want you guys going out of here jump kicking regular People doors. People are going to be jump kicking doors all yeah, over packs. I, it's going to be our fault. Right. I, I don't want that. I'm like, we, I watched Ginger Ninjas run and now we're, everybody's jump kicking and then they come to us. Now I'm only here for a day so I'm okay but you're here for four so you could, you know. Yeah, they might kick me out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. That's probably not supposed to happen. Uh... Would you believe that it was? Yeah. Well, I mean, you did say you fell before for a reason, so we could yeah, tell sure, them no, that. That was for sure on purpose. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was to get us more speed on the, when we came out of that door right there. There's a really tough trick coming up here called Crane's Kick Glitch. This used to be harder, actually. We found a better setup for it maybe a, a few years ago. The cool thing about Crane's Kick Glitch is it's a lot like a regular Kick Glitch, except it's a speedy. We have to get it. Uh, basically, if you start a wall run kick when there's a ledge, like a little ledge like this, it'll give you more speed during the wall run and then more speed in the kick glitch. And if all goes well, I can just barely grab this ledge. Let's see. Oh, oh nice job. First try. Nice job, buddy. That is a, a very difficult, but I'm glad I made it. It looks just like a regular kick glitch, but it's if you're not using reaction time like I'm using, it's not frame perfect, but pretty darn close. And especially in a 3D game like this with all the angles, it makes it kind of a pain. I feel like we're doing well. We're at 15 minutes and 10 seconds. I think we're doing great. Right. That's the end of chapter three. I'd say most of the big skips are kind of at the beginning there, at least the ones I'm scared of, <laughs> personally. So we're on chapter four now. This yeah. does have some huge skips, right, in chapter four. Yeah, I really only have, I only really have a couple of... Yeah, you'll notice your script card. gets a little bit sparse at this point because that's most of the stuff that I needed you to explain. That's okay. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to go out of bounds one more time. You can see me quitting and reloading a lot to get further in bounds. The cool thing here is that I can actually load in a floor and die. And then that's actually good. This is one of those deaths I See? meant to do. Right. That's what I, was I mean, they're all, all intentional, of course. But by dying here, I hit a checkpoint. I spawn into an unloaded zone. But the good news is the rest of the level is loaded. So this skips us like, I mean, I mentioned three to three C skips one checkpoint. This skips like three or four. It saves literal minutes. It's a crazy skip. Here's oh, some of those wall boosts. Yeah. I'm free scrolling this. Yeah, we were bit. talking about this earlier also. I, Mike, why is her leg in the wall? Yeah. Chaining together wall boosts on the same wall like that is pretty common. And then we'll go this way. There are trains that are on cycles here, so I have to be a little bit careful with how fast I go. If I don't, I'll get a bad cycle. We'll see. This is okay pace so far, but I'm omitting some harder strats that could lose me a lot of time, but also help me get the right cycle. Ooh, that roll is going to be actually kind of killer. We'll probably have to avoid the train here. Yeah, no train. We'll see. So there's a train coming. Yeah. You'll hear it honk. And when it honks, I just got to hightail it and dodge it. Oh, there right it is. Right there. Ooh, okay. Oh. That guy didn't do that. Those poor guards did not understand the assignment. Well, well, you know. I didn't understand it either, so it's okay. Get up here. Nice little wall boost on this wall. Skip that swing pull. And then another little thing here is I'll try to land on certain ledges at certain heights. This game does have a whole mechanic where if you fall too far, you get a hard landing, but you can negate that with a roll. But rolls and hard landings are slow, so I'm going to try to get neither. 
over the course of this oh. run and just try to get the perfect height every time. So it's all good. I remember this part. Oh no, where's the, the train? Day. I'm just kidding. Use that same joke earlier, too. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's all right, in practice. That's all right. I'm okay with it. So we've talked a lot about the gameplay, and of course this game is kind of light on story, heavy on gameplay. Really cool parkour movement, right? There is a story in this game. I have a little note card for that. Oh, right. We run a little auto-scroller here, okay. a first-person auto-scroller, so I'm just going to dodge around, uh, maybe let her get hit a few times, right. but why don't you explain the story? I'll read the story. In a heavily monitored dystopian city, the only way to privately deliver messages is by hiring a runner, a courier, who navigates the rooftops of the city with parkour. Our character, Faith Connors, is one of those runners. Ironically, Faith's sister, Kate, is a police officer. Kate has been framed for the murder of a political candidate, so it's up to Faith to traverse the city, chase down leads on the murder, and hopefully save her sister from capitalism or something. Yep. I'm not sure why we're saving from capitalism, but that's okay. It's, it's, it's bad capitalism oh. in this game. So the whole point of this game is, right, like, chapter one, I meet my sister. I skipped the cutscene. You didn't see it. <laughs> okay, well. I meet my sister, and then chapter two, I chase down a lead, and then chapter three, I chase down another lead, and now chapter four, I chase down another lead. Uh, and now we've been directed to go to the mall. So that's what's happening in Chapter 5. It's called uh, the mall? New Eden. Oh. Na named after, yes, the New Eden Mall. Not so, a lot of malls out there anymore. No, it, but in this, uh, it's an abandoned mall here, I think. Or well, maybe it's closed. I don't know. Well, to be honest with you, there's a lot of abandoned malls and closed malls, too. Yep, that's kind of like the real world. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. how that works. This game came out in 2008. How prophetic. <laughs> if they had Amazon that delivering packages, it would be even more. But that's okay. Yeah. Can I barge through this door? I have to go a little slow in this room. If I go too fast, things won't load in, which is kind of annoying. Uh, just the curse of being so fast. Well, there's worse things in life when you're a speedrunner. I mentioned elevator clips. By use glitching while you're in the corner of an elevator like this, you can actually clip the elevator. And I'm going to use that. Plus the elevator bounce you heard earlier, I'm going to try to use that to... Okay, nice little infinite wall climb on this set of walls. So the elevator bounce is coming up here once the loading ends. Perfect. And then infinite wall climbs. You can chain together the wall climb side steps. Perfect. Oh, nice job. I learned that uh, three days ago. All right. Yep. I, I've been playing the game for about 10 years, so I know a lot of skips, but all these new cool kids and their cool skips, I got to make sure I'm catching up. Yeah. I, I don't know if you guys know this. Nick's like a boomer now. and, and I've been spinning around the game for 10 years. The 10-year anniversary of my first posted speedrun YouTube just came up, which is... A long time to be speedrunning, but it's been an absolute pleasure. It's the reason I come back to this game. It's yeah, he's, he used to spend, you know, five hours a day on it, but then he got a life, and I, I don't know if she's watching, <laughs> but he also got a fiancé. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you actually get a, a full-time job, a fiancé, and a real world, you tends to decrease the amount of time you can play. Yeah, but I still make time for it when I, you can. I understand. It's a lot of fun. There was a lot of training this week. I was not mm -hmm. at his house, but I did hear from people that there was a lot of training going on this week. He wanted to give you guys the best run he could. Nice little kick which is here. There is a kick chain coming up. I'll go for it once to skip some zip lines. Uh, wasn't going very well in practice. No, but I, I it's did. never stopped me before. I do. This is exactly where we had can, problems. Yeah. Oh, okay. You probably don't. Okay. Yeah. This is not good. Uh, that guy seems to really have it in for you. So this game has auto lock uh, because it's a PC port. They thought you know what'd be really cool is if we made it uh, on console so that you lock onto enemies. But that becomes a problem in PC. Here we go. Let's see if I can get the chain. Here nope, we go. That there is go. not it. No. Nope. But that's all right. Didn't lose any time either. So we went on the actual ropes. Yep, that's no, all that's right. Okay. Sliding wall climb into a wall boost there saves me having to go and do a little uh, climb up animation, which is sick. It's actually springboards. Those red items there are springboards. There's actually hidden springboards. I used a little hidden springboard on the corner there. Oh, okay. Basically any two bits of collision that are stepped up like that, like two steps, you can use as a... Uh, a springboard. I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't even know the red things were strapped. The whole the thing in this game is that, like, you have runner vision, and things will turn red, because you can yes. see the path through the city. That part I knew, because being at my skill level, I needed to thread the path yeah. to actually get around. Yeah. And we were talking about this earlier. You'll see, I don't know if you had noticed, when he does steps, he hasn't taken, I've never seen him in a hundred hours of watching this game ever take a set of stairs, which you'll see as he goes around. He just jumps through the whole thing and never actually touches the stairs. Yes. Actually, speaking of, uh, Big skipping stairs. I'm about to do a trick called Beamer, which oh, you have a little note card for. You have a note card on Beamer. I'm very excited. Let's see if I can get it. It's frame perfect, but right. he'll explain that. All right. By interrupting a wall climb right as Faith climbs over a lip in the wall, Faith will be catapulted or beamed across the room at highway speeds. And therefore, we call this trick the Beamer. Oh, I like this part. Beam me up, Scotty. Look at that. Okay. I threw that in for me. Two. Go get him. Try. We usually take bets on how long it takes marathon runners to get this because it is frame perfect, and I'm 
Not choking, sure. but it's fine. I'll get it. Let's go. There we go. All right, see, this is the whole stair thing I told you. He never takes the stairs. No, never. I mean, and yeah. in fact, I'll just jump on these signs. That's definitely faster than the stairs. And then try to get as much momentum as I can into the event here. All right. So for those who have been counting and keeping track, this is chapter five. So we are probably more than halfway through the game at this point. And we're doing A-okay. Oh, nice. Got 22 minutes. Okay. It's probably good pace. I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do not have my splits open. A lot of times this game is timed with loads removed. We have an auto load removing timer on, uh, through live split on speedrun.com. So I kind of know all the times with loads removed, but in real time, I don't really know okay. what pace we're on. Got to wait for that. Final, we'll just we'll see it at the end. It'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Everybody will get to we'll reveal it at the same time. Exactly. You guys are as in for a surprise as much as I am. Okay, well, we're coming up. This is playing this pretty much as intended, this last bit. Uh, a little bit faster. For example, I can jump into this vent rather than climb, climb into it. Yeah, nice. Boring, slow, bad. Would never dream of it. And oh, then, you took stairs. I said you said you'd never take stairs. I jump up them. Jumping okay. up stairs is faster than jumping okay. up them. So uh, okay. I am doing a little bit of optimization. Yeah. That's the first time I've actually I've seen you take stairs, so. And I just literally went in and said he never takes the stairs. I know. It's, it's bad timing, but oh, I did jump up the stairs. So. That's true. All right. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're on the ropes now. Yep. This is Chapter 6. It's called The Factory. Oh. We learned in the mall that there might be something funky going on at this factory, so we're going to go investigate. Uh, I actually need to get out of bounds real quick, so let me do okay. that. There's a glide here, and then I have to land on this light, otherwise I'll die from this fall. But the light is just low enough to prevent me from dying. Now I'm out of bounds. You'll know I'm out of bounds probably right about now. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing is that I can get inbounds pretty quickly. There's a checkpoint floating in midair right about here. And I got a little stuck, but the factory loads in right around us, which is a very flashy skip, and that saves, again, another like solid minute. I'm going to do a use glitch through a wall here. The use glitch just happens to go through walls, as well as skipping the animation that lets you Activate that button through the wall, saves you from having to go around. Speaking of skipping stairs, let's take the fast way down here. Nice. Should be somewhere below you. Perfect. Yeah. You grab that pole to stop your fall. And then right down here. The cool thing about wall boosts, they can be chained together. So I'll chain together two wall boosts here to gain even more speed. And then here's another instance of just scrolling really hard on this wall to just keep wall boosting on it. And another instance of free scrolling the other direction to hit this elevator a lot of times with the use glitch and make it go up a little bit faster. Little optimizations here and there, right? Some of them are pretty obvious, like when I'm double wall boosting, and some of them are a little less obvious, like when I free scroll like a maniac with my G502. I feel like, I feel like we're in a commercial for G502. <laughs> yeah, Logitech, Logitech has speedrunners. Uh, they have us covered. Okay, that's fine. I just, uh oh. That's, that was a plane. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, that's okay. I gotta get through this door again. Yeah, I didn't explain this, but this whole section, basically what's happening story-wise here, maybe it's good that I died here, because I can explain story-wise. It turns out that the solution that the cops came up with, with these, like, runners, yeah. is to train cops to do parkour. So now we're in a cop parkour training facility, and they're chasing us. Uh, we're pretty fast, so I don't think they'll catch us, but... They can be really annoying. They actually have, like, tasers, so they'll sometimes tase you while you're trying to run, and it's kind of random. But I didn't get taped there, so we're, we're good. So that's the sort of the underlying plot, is the parkour cops are now coming for us. Uh, and it's all part of the big conspiracy that our sister is part of. I appreciate you, uh, you know, cluing us in, because I honestly did not know that. Yeah, it, believe it or not, yeah, I can tell just sort of from the speed run, you don't really get a lot of the story. So I'm trying to keep you in the loop. I appreciate it. Here's that. another hidden springboard right there. allows us to get up to this ledge a little bit faster. And then let's do a nice little wall boost here. And then a kick glitch into a wall boost. Hope you can see, like, there's so much opportunity. People will post strat montages on YouTube. If you just look up strats and swag, it's actually one of the big series by a runner called Gloss, where he just posts minute-long videos of the crazy stuff you can do by chaining together wall runs, kick glitches, beamers. There's some crazy stuff. It's like a whole subgenre of Mirror's Edge speed running or strat montages. I'm going after that guy. Right. Chapter 6. Wow. Well, We're on to Chapter 7 called The Boat. Hey, guess what we skip in this chapter? The boat. We skipped the boat. Yes. Great guess. Very excited. Well, you know, I mean, I can use context clues. Yeah. So I mentioned that there are those checkpoints, right? The cool thing is that checkpoint A is outside the boat. Yeah. And then checkpoint G, the last checkpoint, is also outside the boat, but over here. The whole level takes place inside the boat. Oh. But if I just run out of bounds here, <laughs> I'm out of bounds right now. Uh, there is a fence in the way here that's supposed to block my way. Yeah, I see But it. I can get over it pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Not like that, I can't. Oh, that's, that's okay, I have a backup. 
Okay. And then the checkpoint's just down here. Under the water. Excellent place for it. That's where I would have put it. So quit and reload, and we just skipped the entirety of Chapter 7. Shortest chapter in the game from Street oh. perspective. Wow, that was quick. There is one boss fight I have to do at the end, and I say boss fight uh, very loosely. I need to punch her five times. One, two, three, four, five, and then disarm. Oh, okay. Whoa. Big boss fight. Big spoiler here. This is a character in the game um, that's betrayed us, so uh, I won't tell you. Play the game. Okay. Okay. Um, we know now that we have to punch her five times. Yep. Right. So for those who have been keeping track, that was Chapter 7. This is now Chapter 8. Two chapters left. Oh. These last two chapters, they can be a bit brutal. There's uh, there's some tough combat sections, tough parkour sections, but I don't think too much left to explain there. We're basically just, at this point, you know the core movement, right? If you've been listening, you know there are kick glitches, wall boosts, sidesteps, and we're just going to keep chaining those together. Even I know that. Here's a double wall boost into a kick glitch. If I do it with the perfect height, I can actually avoid a roll here. Nah, I couldn't. Too much height. And then a use glitch on this elevator. Oops. Oh, no, I got it. All right. So we're... We're, we're moving. This is... This right. is Rega Vader. 28 minutes. You said... How many... Uh, what did you say you were going to do it in? 42? Uh, uh, I, I have an estimate of 40 minutes. We're going to be well underestimate. Don't, don't you... All right. Go. I'm pretty excited. Okay. So this is checkpoint 8B. This is another one of those nice little checkpoints where we skip uh, all the cool checkpoints. So if we die, we'll just uh, go back to the beginning. But again, I simply will not do that. All right. Well, I'm going to throw it out and say um, if, if Nick, Nick's, as we, we talked about Nick, Nick actually has a sister, Allie. So if Allie's watching, hey, Allie. So Nick actually has two, two siblings. He has a younger sister and a younger brother. The younger okay. brother will actually be here um, on... I think, I think his name is Black Belt Ginger Ninja Jr., isn't it? No, he's changed his tag. Oh, oh he's no. changed his tag. He right. Well, his tag, that's what his tag was at one time, and he will be here actually on Saturday and Sunday. So Yeah, it's a whole family affair here. Oh, I, I wonder where he got the gaming love from. Yeah. This is the atrium. So in Chapter 8, the end of Chapter 8, you can kind of think of this as like the platforming final boss. Chapter 9 is very combat-focused, but this is like a puzzle platformer, really, to sort of cap the game off. A little death there, that's okay. Well, that's how you go down. Yep. Yeah. You're supposed to go up. Oh, well, yeah, but we want so to show them the up and the down. I'm going to try Now that you've seen both directions, right. I prefer up. I'm going to try that again. I understand. Well, we're complete. You know, we There's a whole vent section here that I'm going to try to skip. I'm going to go out of bounds. Oh, okay. Again. And then further out of bounds, more obviously out of bounds now, I would say. Would that be called the glitch? Just I kidding. think it would be called. <laughs> okay, you, you got your one. You got your one. Congrats. <laughs> if you guys want, there was a run where Nick did. Oh, gosh. Where this gentleman said glitch about 400 times during the run. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was quite amusing. It was very good. A very funny run. Yeah. I was, I'm only allowed to say it once, so I've already used mine up. Oops, I died. Just kidding again. So what that death does is it actually spawns the hitbox for this truck a little bit early. So I'm going to jump up here, and I have to actually hit the truck through the wall. Oh. Uh, right, I think the hitbox is right about here. Nope, it's not there. Uh, give it one more shot. There it is. Oh. So nice we, we call that truck bang because you wall bang the truck. <laughs> if you ever played Call of Duty, that might resonate with you. <laughs> nice little kick glitch here. And that is basically Chapter 8. Uh, so one little piece of tech I'll explain as we wrap up is that uh, there are lots of animations that put you in the grounded state. The elevator bounce, the kick glitch. The roll is also one of them. So you can sort of roll off edges here. The one frame grounded state will kind of cushion your fall and allow you to fall further than you can. Yeah. But you just skip all the stairs in this room. I told you he didn't ever does stairs. I hate stairs. For the record, he does hate stairs. I but he hates stairs. So that's Chapter 8. Uh, that brings us to Chapter 9. Like I said, this is sort of the, the combat finale. There's going to be lots of guards, lots of opportunity to die here. Got a little stuck, but that's okay. okay. We'll do a backup strat. Hey, we're kicking butt. We're at 31 minutes. Well, we're, oh, we are kicking butt. I'm going to say if Tyler, which is his younger brother, hi, Tyler, hopefully you're at school because you're supposed to be in class right now. So if you're watching this, I know. I just used Glitch that uh, valve, which has the makes the animation come up faster, but also stacks the sound effect. Oh, oh. yeah, that's... Super loud in the old ears, just for the record. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's it's a very good thing that that happens. Uh, okay. But it's a fun little uh, quirk of the game that uh, they, we, we heard your eardrum to save time. That's okay. It's, it's all about saving time. And then hit the button here. 
Why do we? I thought we smacked the thing. We don't. That have to button's the button. actually tricky. Certain use glitches will keep you in the elevator state forever, okay. and it'll soft lock you. So okay. I, I just play it safe on right. the elevator. I was paying attention. I you were we paying attention. That, yeah. There is one more. There's a few more big skips, but now that we're at the end of chapter nine, we're basically coming into the twilight era of the game. There is one big skip coming up called Super Duper Beverage Skip. There have been a few beverage room skips. This elevator has a funny voice line, including the word beverage, so it's the beverage elevator. We found a few different ways to skip it. This is the best one, I would say. You click the elevator here. Okay. Now that I'm on top of the elevator, I'm going to run into an out-of-bounds section right here. I'm going to use that vent on the right side of my screen as sort of to determine how high I am. I need to be about this high. So by quickly pausing and unpausing, I get the perfect height. I load into this room. There's the checkpoint. And that skips like four checkpoints. Oh, wow. Nice job. One last big skip here. I'm going to jump out of bounds. There's actually, to my right, you can see there's a whole section where snipers would shoot at yeah, me yeah. and I'd have to dodge them, but there's a seam in the wall here. It's so thin that I can't stand on it, but I can't jump on it. So I'm just gonna map the jump key <laughs> and just map my way straight from the start of this rooftop section to the end. Wow. Yep. And we are basically here. So there's one more room left. That's kind of the, I mean, I mentioned the combat final boss. There's one more room coming up that I'm gonna have to jump through called the server room. Let's see if I can clip this elevator, that'll save me some time. Nice. That was pretty quick, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I didn't even get to half my notes. I had more notes, but it's okay. You no. know what? We'll save them for next time. Well, next time, for sure. Quick note. I mean, this game is beautiful. It came out in 2008, but it's still, really, the graphics hold up. Um, they did wonders with the Unreal Engine, so you get a little chance to enjoy the view as we come up to this last element. They also have a statue that came off a catalyst that he actually owns that actually has faith. He actually has a, a actual statue in his house uh, about Mirror's Edge, so. Yeah, I'm a fan. I, well, I know you are. Do a quit and reload here to make this load in faster. And now let's get past these guards. So there are a bunch of guards here. You're supposed to disarm them and use their guns to shoot the servers, which will override the door controls here. Luckily, they forgot to make the ceiling solid. So I'm just going to go through that. Interesting strategy to make a ceiling not not solid. That's, but that's okay. That is literally the last strap. This is like just a victory lap at this point. I've got to run to the end. Okay. And, and that's it? Yeah, there is, unfortunately, a three-minute cutscene here that would normally block our progress. But good news, if you quit and reload, it puts you after the cutscene. So we are good. So this is coming up. Time is coming up. Uh, I just need to go a little bit slow here. So I'm, I'm, the game won't load if I go too fast, but and if all goes well, thing and I grab that helicopter, it's over. All right. I'm excited. Let's go. Here we go. Time. Boom. Nice job, dude. Nice job. I mean, I got 30% of the credit, so we did a good job. I'll take my 70. Yeah, I'll take my 30. What are we doing in? 34 minutes. That's pretty good. That's right. pretty darn good. I'm super psyched with that. We got a lot of the big skips. I'm glad you got to see them. Me too. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to pause this game before you get DMCA claim because there's copyrighted music in the credits. But thanks everyone for watching. Games Done Quick does some amazing work. If you're on Twitch and you're not following it, you definitely should. They do. They uplift communities and do great charity work. Um, otherwise, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm Black Belt Ninja. Ninja. Do you want to say anything? Uh, hey, everybody that I know, if anybody's on from the stream, Grammy and Grampy could be on. His Grammy and Gram. Other than that, thanks everybody for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. We're going to go enjoy PAX. PAX News! Thank you for that wonderful run, Black Belt Ginger Ganinja. Up next, we have Vex running. Uh, and we have a couple announcements before we head to that run. GDQ Hotfix is proud to present its first Asian American and Pacific Islander American Heritage Month celebration. Join us on May 18th and 19th for two full days of showcase speedruns and celebrating AAPI Heritage. Submissions are open until April 21st and the schedule will come out on April 29th. Use exclamation point AAPI in chat to get more information on how to submit a run. Coming up next, we have Jaxler, Rung, and Vex, so stay tuned.